Good morning and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is Memorial Day and it's actually my birthday too and it's also the birthday of Jeff Bagwell and Frank Thomas. Over the weekend I was with my good friend Robbie and he actually gave me some uh, gifts, a bag, a gift bag full of baseball related items, specifically baseball card related items and I wanted to be able to kind of share those with you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, show you what we got first. So we got a couple of blaster boxes of Heritage from 2021 and 2022. So we're going to open those on the channel. Got a couple of old wax packs, one of 94, 95 upper deck. Uh, the basketball set, I already opened these up. There wasn't really anything too exciting in there other than these like, these were part of the base sets, but I did find Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller in there. Wasn't expecting any inserts. It wasn't a set where they had any like parallels or anything. He threw in a pack of 94 tops, so I was kind of curious, like, well, who's the gold card? Maybe it's, like, at least a Hall of Famer? Well, it wasn't. It was a, pull this one up, it was a Ricky Trilick from the Dodgers. And I think through the rest of it, I didn't really see anybody else that's in the Hall of Fame or even was, like, Scott Brocious and Jose Mesa and Ventura were probably the biggest stars in this pack. But no Hall of Famers in there. And then he also gave me a fat pack of 2020 Top Series 2. Uh, kind of also hit some of the same luck in there. I think it was a retail pack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sorry about the noise on there. But uh, we'll kind of go through some of it in a minute. Um, some of the other cards, and we'll open up those boxes on camera. But probably the biggest hit in there was probably the uh, Chrome Turkey Red, actually of Jim Tomey. So that's pretty good, other than he's in the wrong uniform, in my opinion, but he did spend a lot more time in Cleveland than anywhere else. So I kind of get that he's in featured in an Indian uniform in this set. So there we go. We got the Chrome card there, and the other inserts were the 85 All-Star of Nolan Arenado and the Detroit Tigers teams and a couple Turkey Reds, Strasburg being the biggest one of the bunch, and there was no big rookies that we were able to pull. All right, so before we open all those blaster boxes, he did hand me a couple cards that were, or one, two things that were already graded. One that was a card, one that was not. We'll start with the card first, and it was actually the 1959 Topps Bill Mazeroski. What's really cool about this card is I used to own it, and it was a terrible card that I picked up for a dollar back in probably like 2000, and it was in terrible shape. It was probably worth less than a dollar even today. But this one's in a near mint seven. I don't run into 50 cards or top cards from the 1950s too often that are graded this high. I know they exist, obviously, uh, but I just don't have many of them. So this was really cool to see something that has such sharp corners and edges. The centering obviously is off, and that's what probably brought it down. And, you know, the back is definitely aged, so maybe there's some marks on there just as a result of it. But the front is completely clean. It's so beautiful. It's such a good example of that card and of that set. The second item he gave me was not a card. Now, I'm not a collector of ticket stubs per se, uh, but this is cool. Uh, this was a ticket, obviously a child admission ticket, for September 11th, 1960, for a double header at Comiskey Park featuring the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. White Sox coming off of their World Series win the previous year. I don't know where they're at in the standings at this point by September 11th of that year, but we did get to... The kid that went to this game and used this ticket was able to watch Billy Pierce win the first game of the doubleheader by a score of 5-3 to three and an early win. Shut out the Red Sox 1-0 in the second one for his 283rd win. Pitcher that win, went on to win 300 games in Major League Baseball. But what's really cool on the back is that they had a picture of some of the ball players at that time. And it's really hard to see this because of the glare. But this is Ted Klazuski, who came over to the White Sox in 1959. There's a little bit of a write-up on there about Big Clue. That makes it really kind of a cool item. Fits in well with the whole vintage collection that I have. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a White Sox ticket from Comiskey Park in 1960. That is very cool, all things considered. All right, so thank you very much, Robbie. And let's kind of see what we got. Let's maybe do, oh, I think we opened 2022 and a gift from Robbie before. I don't know if we're gonna get big hits in this one. Because that last one I got was pretty loaded. I got an autograph in there and also a colored chrome card in that box. And I think it may have been from the same 
possible case that he got these from, but I could be wrong. So let's see what we got. And these are going to be based off the 1973 Tops design. Let's see what we got here. And I believe this is Series 1. So it wouldn't have the high numbered cards in this one. All right. But wouldn't it be cool if something got fun got pulled? So here we got like Otani on there, Devers and Bogarts. Not sure catcher those. I think that's Sally Perez, Bryce Harper. Then I think some of it repeats a little bit. So very cool packaging. Let's get it started. Let's look and see what we got in this very first pack. Nine cards a pack. We'll definitely get three short prints for the high series. Whole bunch of inserts. And let's see what stars we get. We got Ian Happ. Yelich, I'll have to look on the back and see which one our short prints are. Tyler Anderson, Joey Votto, that's always a good one to pick up. Logan Webb, Seth Brown, and my guy Jose Abreu. So I don't think we got any short prints out of this stack. Poor Jose Abreu, I think his career is done. I'll see him probably get a chance to maybe come up one more time before the season is over. But, I mean, the Houston still got him on. The payroll for the next year and a half. There we got Seth Beer. Martin Maldonado. Ooh, there's something in here. Oh, it's backwards card. Will Smith, Kevin Pillar, Austin Slater, Luis Ceravino. Uh, uh, we got Yasirmo Petit. He's a short print. Cal Quantrill, Raphael. Tapia. All right, next pack. Carlos Rodon, Michael Taylor, Austin Riley, Luis Garcia, Paul Goldschmidt, Connor Joe, New Age Performers, Key Bryant Hayes, Luis Arise, who's having a really good season, and Marcus Simeon. Turned out to be a pretty good player, too, for the... Texas Rangers so far. Here we go. We're pack number three. Mike Zunio. Willie Adams. That's a pretty cool looking card. Doubt it's an action shot because I think those were only in hobby boxes. Um, here we got Christian Javier. And jumbo boxes. Nick Solak. Rafael Iglesias. Candelario, Cole Irvin, Joe Ryan. Yep, nope, nothing special here, guys. You know, I'll look through these a little bit more later just to see if there might be a special variant, but I think they flipped the cards over now. Starting at some point along the way. Yeah, here's another one that's flipped over, and I think it's a high number. Sean Murphy, Mike Mostakis, Johan Moncada, followed by Eloy Jimenez. So it's a very White Sox heavy product all of a sudden. Uh, Patrick Wisdom, Gavin Lux, Edwin Oliveras, Matt Olson, Max Muncy. Because this is just a high number. That's why you got to put there. Yep. Three more packs of this. Nico Goodrum. To Josh Josiah Gray, Mike Miner, Ryan McBannon, that's kind of cool. Flashback card of Gaylord Perry, Michael Pineda, Chaz McCormick, rookie card. Two left, we have at least one more short print. I don't know if we'll have any big hits, that's always kind of the thing with Heritage, especially the retail products. AJ Pollock, Walker Bueller. John Gomes, Segura, Vladi, Fernando Tastachis Jr. All right, so this last one's going to have a short print. I think we should get a short print. I think it's three per box. Aaron Nola, J.P. Crawford, Julio Urias, Aaron Run Leaders. Right, Jeffries. Oh, we got a chrome card. And we got a high number. 
Oh, and we got the Home Run Leader card, which is kind of cool. This is kind of a cool pack. So the active Home Run Leaders, of which none of these guys are active anymore. That's really neat, because it features pool holes, my and my guys. I don't know if there's any fun variations of this card, but it's card number one in the set. And then we got... Here's our short print, Alex Benoa. And then we got Nolan Arenado, Chrome, out of $9.99. Do you like Chrome cards, especially when they're Cardinals and White Sox? This one's definitely not centered, though. But what are you going to do? All right, so those are our high numbers. Put in sleeves real quick, and then we'll open up. The other box, pardon me, give me a minute to do this. All right, so probably the highlight is the Chrome card so far of everything we've opened. Sometimes it's hard to be able to hit those Chrome cards in this product. And if that's been my experience, if you get a refractor, you're even in better shape, but it's by far away, no guarantee. All right, so those are all our 73s. I'll look at those later just to see if there's anything I may have missed. All right, now we got 72 design, which is the 2021. I think I opened one or two of these when it came out. This is back when it was still kind of hard to get these because people were buying them up. I think I got one at like Walmart at some point and then I got another one off of Tops website when it was first released. Anyway, here we go. These are based on the 1972 Tops design. Also low numbers. Let's see what we got. Again, the Arenado is probably the big hit so far. Same kind of deal. We'll have a few high numbers. Let's get started. We got Willie Contreras. How about that one? Here we got Paul Goldschmidt. I think we got him in the last one too. Dallas Keuchel. Joey Votto in action. Aaron Hicks. Spencer Howard. This is Rudio Cabrera. Let me just see. Oh, these they did not sort. They didn't turn the cards upside down. So I do need to look at these real quick. All right. There we got our first one done. Aaron Hicks. Go. Carlson Kelly, Tyler Miller, Jameen Lambert, Luis Robert, Trevor May. We got a little Juan Soto action. That's always cool. Rom, Glaber Torres, New York Yankees, Darvish, Mike Yastrzemski. Nothing special on the backs of these. I will say of the heritage designs the last few years, this is the one I like just I like the set a lot too. The 1972 sets. Probably my favorite set that I've completed to date. Austin Riley. Mike Sorka just saw him pitch uh, on Sunday for the White Sox when I was at the game. Max Fried, Ryan McMahon, Kyle Schwarber, New Age Performers, Casey Mize. When is he ever going to be playing consistently again? Alex Bregman, so probably that is the big one, is Demise. I remember pulling his autograph a few years ago. All right. Back of an all-star here. Not sure who that is off the top of my head. Nathan Ivaldi, Abraham Toro, Freddie Glavis. For Shaw, Paddock, Key Bryant Hayes in action, Zach Gallen, Dylan Carlson. Wow, what happened to him? Jackie Bradley Jr. Let's see. Zach Gallen's a high number. All right, nothing too exciting. I'll say when you get these Heritage Blaster boxes and you just get the three high numbers and that's it. Man, it doesn't feel good. It just does not feel good. All right, Carson Kelly. 
Another Tyson Miller. We already saw that card. Michael Talkman plays with the Cubs now, right? Michael Pineda. Miggy. Can never go wrong with Miggy. Will Smith. Oh, we got something upside down. We got something upside down. Um, this It's Anthony Rendon. Let's see what else we got here. A couple of these. I don't think we have any uh, other high numbers in here. Let's see what this is. I think it might be an autograph. It's a red autograph of Anthony Rendon. Wow, not the angel you probably want a red autograph of, but still very cool. This is the small, this is probably the best pull I've pulled out of a heritage product so far, at least like number wise. You know, an autograph numbered to 72. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right, that is the big hit so far. And uh, he can never stay on the field, sadly, for the Angels. Uh, but that is a very cool autograph. I've never pulled a red autograph before from this product. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's put that one off to the side here. Okay, so not everything is face up. There's some things that are turned around. We've got Nolan Arenado, and he's still with the Rockies. We got Lando Har, Jason Kipnis, Luis Servino. Oh, we got something else. <laughs> we got a little mini of some sorts, a die cut mini. Nelson Cruz, Most Valuable Player Award. Okay, we've got no other short prints in here, but look at this one. Got a little yachty. Got another Cardinal, so that's always good. I don't know what these die cuts are. I'll have to look it up on the back of the box or something, just kind of see if it's anything special. I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. I don't know if it's just regular like retail stuff they had at Walmart or if it's like something kind of special, but it looks really neat. A little die cut of Yachty. All right, so far so good on this one. All right, what else we got? Jake Cave, Justin Turner, Brandon Crawford, Nate Pearson, Austin Meadows. Uh, the kickoff for the <laughs> Olympic Games in Japan. Ben Gamble, Charlie Morton, and Austin Riley. All right, let's see if we have any. Here we go. Here's another short print. Mike Trout's one of the players featured on the backs of these cards. And here we go. Here's our final pack. So it's been an interesting one. I mean, we got that autograph, three short prints, uh, and that Yachty die cut card, which I'm not quite sure that's rarity, but I'll look it up. Lane Thomas, Fernando Tatis, Chris Bassett, Jesus Lazardo, uh, Mikael Franco, Carlos Correa, 2020 postseason. Christian Walker, World Series champs, the Dodgers, Casey Mize. Anything special here? But they usually tell you on the backs of these cards what they are, which is kind of nice. You don't have to guess. Nope, those are just regular cards. All right, so let me put these on real quick. See what we got. And I'll do a very, very quick summary here in just a few. I want to see what's going on with that Yachty. See if I can figure that out real quick and give you guys just a quick rundown. So let me put these in sleeves and I'll be back with you momentarily. All right, so I did just a quick little research on that one card. So let me go through the hits and just kind of tell you what I found. Uh, in the fat pack earlier, it was definitely the Chrome card of Jim Tomey. Uh, I showed that one earlier. Then we did the um, 2022 box, and the big one hit in here was the Chrome card on uh, $9.99 of Nolan Arenado. Nothing too huge, uh, but it is with the Cardinals. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. I did pull out the home run, active home run leader card, because I always thought that was a kind of a cool card in 73, and this one also features... Pools and Cabrera on it. And we got three or three short prints right here. Nothing too exciting on there. And then for 72, which was the 2001 product, here's our three short prints, Zach Gallen, Hicks, and Gamble. 
And then we have the die cut. That's what this actually is. It's not super rare, I found out. You can find a few of them on eBay right now just for a few bucks. Uh, but still cool. You don't have that one. And then obviously the Rendon signature, red signature out of 72. Uh, in, he's done so poorly since he's gotten over to the Angels. I can't imagine it's that expensive. But still cool. Nevertheless, getting an autograph out of 72 for Heritage, those are hard to pull. Uh, and it's at least a star player at that point and somebody that was uh, threatening to be a league MVP, I think, one year if he didn't or win it nevertheless. And he obviously had a really good postseason that season when they won the World Series uh, with, obviously, with Washington at that time. So pretty happy with it overall. Again, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Ravi, for being such a great friend and giving me these wonderful gifts here. I couldn't thank you more. So have a great rest of your Memorial Day, everybody. Get out there and enjoy yourselves and have a great week.